Thank you very much, uh, Habari and Chana. Nice, nice to see all of you again and see so many of you. It's always good to have a good interest about the uh, Taifa Stars. Tomorrow we will have our second game for the Afghan qualifying against uh, Algeria. And I think we all know that Algeria is one of the top team of the continent. They have been very successful in Afghan for, for a long time. And the strength of Algeria is, in my opinion, that they, they have a lot of quality, individual quality at all positions, a lot of talent. And at the same time, it's also a very well-organized and structured team, which uh, uh, make it a, a tough opponent for us. And I think it's also important to understand that when you play Algeria, Whatever you play at home or you play away, you have to respect that Algeria will be the favorite of the game. The reason I mention this is that sometimes I hear, okay, you have to win your home games. Yes, we are going in to be competitive tomorrow, but if you start the game against Algeria and believe that we, Taifa Stars, are the favorite, you are on the wrong direction. You have to respect and you have to acknowledge that you are playing a top team who are well structured have high quality everywhere around. And then you have to adapt to that situation and say, how do we play our card best possible? Last game when Algeria, they played Uganda, they, they won the game, that's one thing. But if you look at the possession rate, Uganda managed to have 19, 19.9%. So Algeria, they had more than 80% possession of the game. I think that's a clear indication how strong uh, they are. For me, and for technical bands, Shadrach, we are looking very much forward to the game because we know it's a tough game, it's a tough challenge. And our players, they really will be forced to play up to their maximum because we need to perform at a very high level. And I think our players, they are ready for that. When you play Algeria, one of the challenges is that they with the quality they have, they are very quick and they will give you less time, less space that you normally have. And when you get less space, that means you also get less time to, to do your, your job, the receiving and the passing. And that's one of the interesting questions, that is how are our players able to cope with that kind of pressure, taking this, uh, the space and reduce the time. They have to cope with that tomorrow. So that's what we have been, been training. And as I say, we have, we have a, a clear game plan for, for the match. And uh, when we played uh, in Benin against Niger, every game gave us some answer of some of the question. And I was happy in Niger to see that we have a strong uh, bench. I like the, the way the player from the bench they came in. They did a good uh, job when they came in. And I can also say there is a very good uh, commitment attitude, not only for the player in the starting line, but also those sitting on the bench. They are there to support, but they're also ready to play their part. And I think when we play two games in a short uh, interval, and we have to do a, a lot of traveling, it will be important that you have a strong bench so you can do your changes along the way because the game might go in phase one and then in phase two and I'm happy that special on the offensive side I think we have uh, we have a very strong bench and we can do if some people get tired along the way no problem I will tell them give all what you have when you are tired we make a substitution and we will keep the same uh, the same level on the team so it's we have to use the whole squad uh, tomorrow and uh, it's, it's good that nearly all players are available. The only one who is ruled out is Himid Mao because he got injured in the last game and he won't be able to, to take part in, in, in this game because he has a groin uh, issue. So he's on the treatment, but he will be out. All others should be uh, fine for, for tomorrow. And it was very nice that uh, after the, the game in Benin, we had a direct flight back immediately after the game, so we had time to have our training uh, yesterday, and so we had a couple of good training, and we'll have another session today.
to fine tune uh, the work and we also have our meeting at the hotel about how we want to approach uh, the game. I think it's going to be a very interesting game because it's one of the powerhouses of the continent who is coming here. And we are a competitive team and I told the player, go in and set a new standard for what Taifa Stars are able to do. And we are, we, are, we are ready for the game and we are looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Any questions? No, I, I think uh, it was good that we, when we went to play against Niger, the players have in the mind that the last number of times when we have played abroad against strong opponent, we have achieved to get some points. And that, that boosts the confidence. So there was a confidence that we would get something, about, uh, get something uh, out of the game versus Niger. Uh, the game against Niger was, uh, was difficult in, in different way. We, uh, we had an early lead when we, when we played Niger. And sometimes when you get an early lead, it, it, it gives you a mental lead that you think you have to start defending. That was not the plan. So I was not that pleased with our performance in the first half. But I think in the second half, we was getting more and more. And I think we created three, four big chances, if not enough to score the, the winning goal. Another challenge in the last game was, was the referee, because there was a, 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 the way the referee was facilitating the game was... Yeah. I have to be careful what to say. Well, we were not happy with the way the referee facilitated the, the game. And it was very clear that he wanted to see if he could give some of our players a red card. Which, uh, it also affected the player because they have to be very, very careful. I hope we will get a, uh, a better referee who will facilitate the uh, fair uh, in the game because that football deserves good referee. Uh, on the continent, uh, so I'm sure we will have that uh, tomorrow. So now we are playing at home, and uh, we, are, we also like to, to play very much at home. And of course, we talk about it that at home uh, we have to get uh, hopefully the support from the crowd because it's always important that you feel the support from the from the crowd. Whatever you go a little bit uphill, you go downhill. You, you, it's important to feel the support from the, from the crowd all the way. And sometimes when we play away, it's quite amazing how the, the crowd, the home crowd, are supporting their team, whatever they are struggling, because number 12, the, the crowd can make a difference. And I hope they will be behind the team tomorrow when we play, because I think the team deserves that support. And they need the support as well. Yes. If I have a plan to, to change, I wouldn't tell you right now. Uh, uh, and then you will have to wait to see tomorrow. No, I think what I want to say is that every game you play, first of all, you look at the open. And we have analyzed Algeria. And we know exactly what Algeria, they, how they play, what they do. And they play very different, complete, complete uh, like, compared with the Niger. Then at the same time, we are looking at our uh, who is available, what quality we have, what, how can we close down their strengths, how can we put our strengths into the game, and that will end of the day, the game decide uh, the system. For me, it's not, the system is not that important, it's more that the best player at this moment for this game, they will be filled in to do the, for do the job. Sometimes along the way, you will make changes in the system that we did there, because at that time we were feeling, okay, let's, they put a lot of long high ball because they were tall players. Uh, Algeria play in a different way, so we will, we will approach it in what we believe is the best way to, to get a good result against Algeria. Thank you. I think for our, yesterday when we had our training and we working with our back line, one of the, the topics we are working is that it is the many small details who makes the difference uh, in the defending. Because when you play at national level, you, uh, you can make mistakes without being punished. But when you play international and you make small, small mistakes, bang, you will be hurt. So we have to minimize these kind of errors, mistakes. If you look at the goal in uh, Niger scored against us uh, there, for me it was a soft goal, and there was a small miss 
communication between a, a defender and the goalkeeper. And this small communication mistake, it was punished. We have, to, you cannot get rid of mistake. Football is a game of mistake, but you have to minimize. To minimize this kind of mistake, that goes through the training that we train. And yesterday we have some small situation from the game to say, okay, if you put, maybe you have to go like this, small, small changes to be more and more effective and efficient in the way we, we defending. Another question? <clears throat> We, 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 yesterday when we had our training, one of the topic for our training was that we had a number of high ball from one side and the other side to, to work how to clear this ball. We had a, high, a number of corner from both sides to clear this ball. So we have put was our emphasis uh, on this and we have also see, seen where Algeria, they want to put the ball. And we know of course Slimani who is uh, who is a very, very experienced uh, striker. He's not that movable anymore, but he will stay in the box. And they use him in two ways. They use him as a playing station, and he released the ball. And then when the ball goes to the winger, then that's where he is. And of course, our defender, I can't make them taller, yeah. but I can, I can tell them how to, to go on. Maybe you don't win the challenge, but you can go on the body, so he cannot get power in it. And if I see so far, yes, we had some, we were suffering a bit in, uh, in Niga for, for the high balls. So that's the reason we put emphasis on that, to try to correct the timing of it. Because I still think a player like Bakari or also Dixon, they are good in, in header. They just have to start from the right position and then win the ball and one go for the ball. And it's also important that the other players, they cover up around. Because you, sometimes you have to respect to say, if they bring 10 high balls for Slimani, he's going to win one, two or three of them. So then you have to be ready for that second ball where he tried to, to head the ball. So we have our emphasis on, on this. Uh, yes, you, you need to have uh, experience when you play international games, uh, but you also have to look at who is who is performing well at this uh, moment for, for, for the training and that's how we balance uh, the team. There have to be a good uh, balance and sometimes it can be good that you have experienced player then along the way you get new energy in for more because sometimes if a young player starts from the beginning it can affect him a little bit but if he comes in after uh, second half or first half he comes in then he comes in with a lot of energy and do it. So we try to balance out the talent, the experience. For me, it's not enough to have experience. End of the day, we are talking about one thing, the quality. And I have the ball less than 20%. I'm not, I'm not happy to see that because if you don't manage to get the ball less than 20%, your chances of winning the game is going down, down, down. So we have to be able to... to to do a, a little bit uh, different compared with Uganda. For what Uganda game, we ha it highlighted the quality of Algeria where they have the strengths. And we try to see how we can close down for their strengths. We know when they attack, they always attack with a fullback and a winger, two players high on both sides. We know number 10, what he do. So we have analyzed all these things and we try. As I say, end of the day, the big question and you never know the answer about this question. How can our player cope with the pressure from uh, Algeria? They know what to do, but sometimes you know what to do, but the, the, the space you are given and the time you are given is much shorter, smaller than you are used to, and that makes you make mistake. So we have to be comfortable enough, and hopefully the player can cope with that, but we will see that tomorrow, how will they cope uh, with that? That's a big question when you meet a strong opponent. But as I say, you have to play your card smart. Because if we, when we play Algeria, if we get too many 1-1 one -one situations around the pitch, it will be difficult for us. We have to be close to each other so we can try to be two against one. Because one-on-one, -on -one, we know they have a lot of quality around and they can beat one of our players, yes, but then there have to be another one to give the support. So we have to be a strong unit. Of course, Algeria, they will try to stretch us, 
which they managed to do with Uganda. They stretched Uganda out, so there was a far distance from one Uganda player to another one, so they were not able to support each other. This is the battle of tomorrow, the quality of the two teams. I believe in our player, I believe in Typhus Stars, that we can, will do a good job, and I can tell you one thing for sure, we go in with a competitive attitude to get something out of the game. Thank you so much. Pleasure to see all of you, and hope to see you tomorrow at the National Stadium.